if you guys uh, haven't had a chance, I uh, I unboxed this phone yesterday, right? I unboxed this phone yesterday. Uh, I got it from Wanda Mobile from China and it came in three days. Ridiculous shipping on it. So uh, I can highly recommend them at this point. Uh, by the 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 um the purchase process was simple and not only that uh they also ended up giving me a travel adapter right so i could use the fast charging brick that comes with it and and this phone charges super fast i'm gonna have to do a battery test on this as well but uh i got this phone yesterday and for people who are not aware this is a very expensive phone i paid a thousand and 30, no, 1,040 pounds, which ended up being $1,300 US. And uh, it has no Google services on it. So I can't do anything Google, no Gmail, no YouTube, no Google Photos, Google Keep, Sheets, Docs, anything Google related, uh, I'm not able to use, which is unfortunate. But uh, here's the thing. Uh, this phone is very high end. It's very high quality, and uh, it's it's very nice. I've uh, I've went ahead and I've started using it. I'm 24 hours into it at this point. Um, it is a it's it's probably at the same. No, it's probably higher build quality I think than my iPhone 11 Pro, and that's a thousand dollar phone. It's definitely higher quality than my Pixel 4, which is right here. It it makes my Pixel 4 feel cheap. I don't mean to be such a, like, you know, such a sourpuss about it, but it really, I mean, the Pixel 4 still, the Pixel 4 still feels premium, but like when you, when you hold it, if, if you were to, if I did a blind test and I gave people both of these phones and I told, and I asked them to tell me which one feels more premium, the P40 Pro Plus is the more premium phone. It is a nice phone. Uh, the chrome on the edges and like, you know, I was a little worried because there's a little bit of a, of an edge to it right on the screen. Like it kind of bends just so slightly, but not enough where I'm getting accidental touches, which is a really good thing. The one thing I was afraid of is I was going to get accidental, accidental touches um, using the P40 Pro Plus and, and I didn't, which is great. Uh, but uh, here's the thing. Having uh having no <laughs> having no Google services on it, um, that's not what I wanted. Having no Google services on it is is a shame. I am I'm trying to get used to it, so I will uh, I will share what I've been using. I don't use re I really don't use Android messages, so that's another thing I won't be able to use uh, because when I message people, I use Telegram, right? So I have Telegram down here. Uh, Telegram is what I use for all my messaging stuff. I know I can't convert everybody to use, you know, Telegram, so that's fine. I you I can still get texts. I can still do SMS, but uh, um, I can't use Hangouts. Not that I only use Hangouts because like I have friends who still use it, but for the most part, most people I know now don't use Hangouts. At that point, I'm just using SMS if they don't want to use Telegram. I can live with that. That's fine with me. So. Telegram is what I'm using. Here's the thing. I know somebody in chat yesterday, uh, and I see other people in here. I'll get back into, into chat as well. Telegram for messaging. I didn't do anything different with the dialer. I'm just using the stock dialer. Somebody recommended using Aquamail or Bluemail uh, for, uh, G instead of Gmail instead. And I think it was Deepak who recommended that. Um, I also think Lucas also recommended uh, Outlook. Either way, I tried using Aquamail and Aquamail was fine, but anytime, if I had to add another account, I had to pay for the pro edition. Here's another thing. <laughs> when I tried to sign up for Huawei ID on the P40 Pro Plus, and it asked me to pick my country, the US is not listed on here because you know Huawei and the US right now are not on the best terms. So the US is not listed here as a country. So I picked uh, the country, <laughs> closest to me from the US, which was Canada. And so when I pick Canada and now I go through apps, everything is in uh, Canadian money to purchase an app or whatever. And Aquamail costs, I forgot how much it said in Canadian money per year to pay. So instead of doing that, I said, you know what, let, let me not use Aquamail right now. I just ended up using the stock mail app 
which is on the bottom center here. I just used the stock mail app and so far it's so good. Um, so far so good. It, you know, it is, it's, it's still very reminiscent of Gmail. Um, and it's just, you know, I use dark mode on it, which is nice. Uh, and that's it. As far as the browser, you know, I've always used Chrome and now I'm using Opera and Opera is not bad either. I, actually, what's nice about Opera is it gives you the option to pick what your default search engine is. So Google is the first one that shows up there, but you can use Bing or Yahoo. And I, I know, I know other phones do that as well, but it's nice to see. Opera has been good. I actually use the stock browser for Huawei and the stock browser for Huawei is not bad at all either. Um, and then I think that's it. Now, now here, here's the thing. Here's the thing about this P40 Pro Plus. <sighs> I can't use a ton of apps. It's not just Google apps, okay? It's not just Google apps. Because it can't use a lot of Google's framework, there are a lot of things I cannot use on it. I can't use Spotify. I use Spotify every day when I work out. I can't use Reddit. I can't use Amazon. Um, I'm just trying to think of things off the, off the top of my head that I haven't been able to use. I can use a lot of these things in browser mode. I even Instagram, I, there's no Instagram app for it right now. I know there are ways around this guys. I know this. I'm just, I'm just giving you my experience with Huawei, uh, the app gallery, which is their play store, right? Oh, so instead of Google maps, I use the here app, which is actually a maps app that was made by Nokia, I think some time ago. And it actually is pretty good from what I've seen so far. I haven't used it yet in like real navigate. So like I have to, I gotta, um, I gotta run a couple errands in the city today. And then I'm, I'm shooting photos in the city today. So, uh, I'll, I'll be using that. It's hard for me to use it because there's just a lot of things that are missing. So I find myself having to pull out my um my iPhone 11 Pro cuz now that's my secondary phone. My my P40 Pro Plus is my go-to at the moment and it will be for quite some time. I mean, I am still going to use this phone daily and I am going to try to use everything that I can to switch over and move away from Google, not permanently, but this is me really trying to to see where my dependency on Google lies. So here's another thing, if you notice at the top here, there's suggestions, right? Uh the one thing I don't like on my on my iPhone, on my Pixel 4 is getting app suggestions. So you see how there's a app gallery app here and then the app gallery app is also here below. I don't like it when they double up like that. I would rather turn that off. And there's no way to turn the suggestions uh, um, option off. Now, if you guys know if there's a way, please let me know, but it is not in the home screen settings. I've checked, I've Googled it. Um, and I don't find, I couldn't find anything. And you know, you know, what's funny too is so, so Huawei does things a little differently and it's not bad at all. You know how typically you, you long press to get home settings. Uh, you can't do that on Huawei. Actually, you just pinch in to get that. So then you get wallpaper widgets, transitions, and then home screen settings. So it's not, it's not, it's not better or worse, right? It's not a long press, but pinch is, is fairly easy as well. Here's another thing to open the camera app, it's not, you would think it's just pressing, double pressing the lock button or power button. It's not that either. It's pressing the down volume button. The fingerprint reader is fine. I mean, it's, I don't know, like it's, it seems accurate. Uh, I did use face unlock uh, for a minute, but I don't know, I, I kind of turned that off. I was just like, oh, let me just use fingerprint for now. Um, what am I, what am I trying? Oh, so to take a screenshot, um, what's really nice because, uh, to take a screenshot, you actually have to use your knuckle for it. So like you would think just tapping it twice, right. But it won't do it. As soon as I use my knuckle, do you see that? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, it's actually not bad at first. I'm like, this is not, this doesn't make any sense. But if you, if you use your knuckle twice, that does it. If you use two knuckles twice, ah, uh, of course it's not going to work. I don't know if it's, yeah, now it does. When I turn it the other way, you see on the top here, it screen records and it just might be my angle of how I'm doing it, but it, it's worked pretty well uh, beforehand. Uh, and so that turns on screen recording, which is great. Uh, I just never thought about using the knuckles or using your knuckles as a thing, but it's not bad. So if I wanted to, again, if I wanted to screenshot, I just, I use, I'm trying to put it on screen and then it just, it screenshots it.
It's it's easy. It's pretty simple. Um, and it's kind of creative. It's it's not bad. Uh, let me. I'm just trying to think of other things. The, the one thing that's annoying me right now is the fact that I have two clocks. I have griped about this before. There is no way for me to <laughs> have. I I I can't turn off the clock on the status bar up there. If if you guys know, unless I have to ADB into it and do that, I'll do that. But um. That's that's a minor annoyance. For me, it's kind of a major annoyance. I just don't like stuff like that. Uh, I've used dark mode to kind of hide the the um, the front cameras, right? Uh, what else was I gonna say? There were a couple other things that I was gonna talk about. Um, but really, the, the big thing is the app thing, not being able to find those apps. I will eventually get Instagram and all that stuff in there. I probably have to use, I don't know, I, I know there are ways to get them. I just, I haven't looked into it yet because I'm like, let me just use the phone as is. Um, otherwise, everything's the same. I'm still using the stock, uh, the stock launcher, so that's great. And and you know they have the option to to swipe up to get all your apps. And again, I don't I don't have a ton of apps. Uh, and I think that's it. I'm trying to think of like what else I've downloaded that I'm able to download. Oh. Another thing, uh, do you guys remember yesterday I was talking about the uh, screen protector on it? I took the screen protector off. I know you guys probably don't agree with me and I understand, but I also don't use a case and I know people don't agree with me on that either. The thing about the screen protector is it just has like a weird touch to it. It doesn't feel as smooth. It doesn't feel as good. And uh, my big complaint on my Pixel 4 well, I have a, I have many complaints on my Pixel 4, but sorry, I'm getting notifications here. On my Pixel 4, uh, the one thing that annoys me on here, uh, you guys have heard all my annoyances: the battery, the the lack of a fingerprint reader, the face unlock, uh, not working with other third-party apps. The one thing I keep forgetting to point out on my Pixel 4 is the oleophobic coating is gone on it and now it's smeared and it's smudged and I can't get rid of it and it looks disgusting. Like it it absolutely looks disgusting and that is why I didn't remove the screen protector on my P40 Pro Plus because I didn't want that to happen. But then I thought about my iPhone 11 Pro. My iPhone 11 Pro also no cases, no screen protector. I have used my 11 Pro way, 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 way more then my Pixel 4 and that oleophobic coating is still a lot better than what my Pixel 4 has on it, which is a shame. I paid $800 for my Pixel 4 and it's had so many like annoyances and issues. And I just, that, that, that kind of screams like inconsistent uh, quality control. I, I'm not the only person who has complained about the oleophobic coating on the Pixel 4. If you if you look look around and you will see other people have griped uh, with with that issue. I barely use my Pixel 4 and I already have issues with the oleophobic coating. I removed it from my Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Listen, I, I want to use the phone the way I want to use it. I understand if you guys don't agree with it, that's fine. I just that's how I use it. And if that oleophobic coating goes, you guys will also be the first to know. Otherwise, I, I, I'm I still loving the phone. I love the quality. I love the, 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 the in-hand feel. Everything works smoothly. I haven't noticed any hiccups. I've been able to, you know, and so what I'm doing with it, because I can't do everything on it, is I, you know, I, I, I surf the web and then I use Telegram and then I just been I've been playing around with a couple other apps and seeing what's out there. I know you guys are kind of going crazy in chat here. I'm going to go into that, but I just wanted to give you my uh 24 hour experience with the phone. Today I'll be testing out the camera and uh I'll start putting together a higher production video so when I get a chance to do that I will let you guys know. Um but so far so good. Um oh I forgot. Also, uh, it is not dual SIM. So I pulled the SIM out and uh, one side is for one SIM and the other side is for that uh, NM. I think that's what they're calling their expandable storage, NM SD card or whatever. I don't think it's dual SIM at all. Um, and that's it. Otherwise, I'm excited to use the phone today for the camera and uh, give you guys my thoughts and experiences on it. So, uh, but so far so good on T-Mobile. I'm getting coverage fine. 
I, I'll let you know if I see 5G pop up on the top there. I don't know if I will or not, but uh, it's again, it's not my top concern because I don't, I'm not using my phone to like do a ton of things on it where I need a gigabit down or what. I mean, yes, the speed is always welcome, but it is not my main concern at this point. 